Hello everyone, <laughs> I'm Edith Bowling Wilson and in today's Canary Tweet, I am going to share with you one of the ways that President Woodrow Wilson won my heart. If you know me very well, you know that I love flowers. In almost every photograph, you can see me either wearing a corsage or carrying a bouquet of flowers. I don't remember the exact moment that orchids became my signature flower, but I do remember that I always had a little vase of orchids in my very first electric car. I met President Wilson through my friendship with Dr. Carrie Grayson. At the time, I wanted absolutely nothing to do with the President of the United States. However, once we met the President had different ideas. And I must admit that I was quite smitten by him. What began as a delightful friendship soon escalated into a romance and he was quite persistent. All through our courtship, he wrote the most beautiful love letters and he sent me orchids every single day. I refused his first proposal because I needed time to know the difference between the hypnotic effect of his brilliant mind, plus the glamour of the office, and my true feelings for him. And I may been, have been a little more persuaded once I heard him say, for most women, very few women, can wear orchids. For most women, orchids wear the woman. But only for my dear Edith does the woman wear the orchid. <laughs> oh my goodness, that man had a way with words. We were married at my house in December in front of an ark filled with orchids. When we returned to Washington from our honeymoon at the Homestead Resort in Hot Springs, Virginia, we were entertained by one of the most beautiful balls of the social season. The Pan American Union hosted this grand event as a gesture of courtesy from one America to another. Now, I'm not alone in saying that this was one of the most elaborate and beautiful functions ever held in Washington, D.C. Imagine, if you will, the tropical beauty of a table laid in the Great Hall filled with orchids of every shade and variety, a garden of massive blooms, and in the center was a miniature pool reflecting the flaunting glory of the flowers. I understood later that they had seen me wearing orchids so constantly that they were now considered my flower and they were paying a tribute to the new first lady. <laughs> oh my goodness, my life had changed dramatically. And did you know that Chadwick and Son Orchids in Richmond, Virginia has even named an orchid for me? <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, and in my next Canary Tweet, I may read some passages from my love letters. <laughs>